It's often been said that dogs are man's best friend. Well, when it comes to people living with disabilities, the organization Freedom Service Dogs takes that relationship to a whole new level. Our waiting clients have varying conditions that they are coping with every day. Traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress disorder, spinal cord injuries. A service dog can make a dramatic difference for people coping with these conditions. Today, while we celebrate our graduating teams, there's an underlying reality. Please continue to spread the word about Freedom Service Dogs and what we do and the important work that still needs to be done. Uh, first, we're going to start with Annie and Dusty. Dusty is working as a professional therapy dog with at-risk youth. Porter and Spencer. Porter has grown on everyone that he's come in contact with. He's an incredible animal. Um, and it's impossible to be upset when you're around him, and I think that's one of his greatest gifts, is he's a huge clown. Next we have Summer and David. We called David and asked him to come down and meet Summer. I just knew it was the right match. Veterans can feel vulnerable walking around with disabilities. When they go out with a service dog, it draws attention away from their disability and onto the dog. The end result is independence, which is what Freedom Service Dogs is all about. You're fearful when you have a special need or a disability because it's hard to take care of ourselves. We're in wheelchairs or we're in crutches or we don't have legs and we need prosthetics and prosthesis. When Freedom Service Dog first mentioned it to me, I thought of it as a lot of work and hard to take care of. But immediately within a week, I said, oh man, this is it. This is the direction to go, and it is. AW2 is the U.S. Army Wounded Warrior Program. My soldier is an Iraq veteran, very seriously injured in Iraq. My soldier has um, balance issues uh, due to his injuries. A month and a half ago, he called me and informed me that he had fallen and had seriously injured himself. And I said, uh, well, I think, Ian, it's time for us to let's talk a little more seriously about a service dog for you. Little things become pretty difficult when you're not at the at 100 percent getting affiliated with freedom service dogs and now being a client and having a, a service dog has dramatically impacted the smaller things in life and uh, little things like that are now a lot easier uh, clark hits elevator buttons for me he, he carries things for me and and it, it's been a huge impact this is freedom service dogs 22nd graduation <laughs> The bonds you saw today will strengthen and change lives in ways that no one ever thought possible. Over the years, we've saved thousands of dogs and changed hundreds of lives, and we usually celebrate these new bonds with ceremonies like today. Now, it's important to know that all dogs at Freedom Service Dogs are animals who have been rescued. That's right. And their motto is, rescuing dogs to free people. For more information, go to their website, freedomservicedogs.org. And we'll be right back with more on Pet Tales TV.